today. From Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, this is the NFL on EA Sports. the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. The scene just a few moments ago, predictably loud and raucous here at Arrowhead as their beloved Chiefs took field and they are set to match up with the Atlanta Falcons. one started and we are underway from Arrowhead. Here's Powell on the return. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Atlanta takes the field. Their offensive leader, of course, Matt Ryan, the former Boston College Eagle. And you know how they say it's not about the money? Sometimes it is about the money. Matt Ryan is going to average $30 million in salary per year now as one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the NFL, and he more than deserves it. The NFL's MVP in 2016. as he's taken down at the 31. On the tackle, Tyron Matthew. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver, but he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front, so if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him, picks up three on that carry. From the 31. Ryan, open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a first down on a gain of 10. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short catch and put the down marker back to one. On first and 10, it's Ryan. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Ryan. He's going to air one out. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. That sun's going to be a factor all game long. I'm not sure it made a difference on that one, but it's something to think about on all deep throws during this time of year. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Ryan will throw again. He'll drop this underneath to Gurley. And Gurley fumbled it. Gurley fumbles the football. It's loose. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 41-yard line. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. 
almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 41. Here's Gurley now out of the gun. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now it's Gurley. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 34. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. To throw is Ryan. It's caught. Jones. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. From the gun, it's Ryan. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. The sack comes from Anthony Hitchens. And on first and goal, they decided to throw for it, but the coverage was excellent. And he kept holding the ball, hoping someone would shake free. Instead, he's hit and drop. And now, they're not even in the red zone anymore. some hot water now after that sack it's second and 21 another try after the first down sack Ryan looking sideline incomplete incomplete on the throw there been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. From the shotgun, Ryan. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. The KC offense set to go led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. We know the arm strength is certainly there. He's got a big-time cannon for an arm, and that's not a surprise. He's the son of a former major league pitcher, so the bloodlines come into play. The biggest question for Patrick Mahomes, can he harness that big arm, develop the touch that's needed, and carry his team towards the playoffs? Mahomes will lead the Chiefs on first and 10 at their own 18. Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Foyasade Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. 
but you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Five men in the secondary now for the Falcons on third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And Robinson with a big catch. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. And we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got us a turnover? <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Mahomes now on first down. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. Out across midfield, down to the 45. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. He's tied in Charles in the middle of the field. He has good pass catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45 yard line. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They'll run it with Bell. Pretty good running is going to be close to a first down at the Falcons 30. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. It's funny, partner. Le'Veon Bell, when he came out of Michigan State, when I go back and look at my analysis of him and what my grades were for him, I thought he was a big-time player, great potential, but I didn't know we were going to get this player. I was used to a big, solid, thick running back, but now I've got a full package, a guy who can do everything, as we just saw there, including breaking tackles. But at the time, second round pick in 2013, some people probably wishing they'd taken him in the first. Demarcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. And that'll bring up second down. Draw play. This is Bell. About three yards there to the 27. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Will be incomplete. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. So on fourth down, the home's off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs' field goal. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. Butker's kick here is good. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. Chiefs 3, Falcons nothing. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the 7 they wanted, but they'll take the 3. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. At their own 19-yard line. 
Matt Ryan and the Falcons getting ready to go again here on offense. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. He fakes the give here and looks to throw. Got his tight end. It's Jaden Graham. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. They may want to go back to that one. First part of the good for 15. First down. Starting drive number two off the right for completion for the first down. Drive one is the that had to be pretty frustrating because they moved the football. They just didn't get any points out of it. But warm up QB two. Let's bring in the backup. I mean, my goodness, you take them down field, you don't score points. You know, I'm being totally facetious here, right? I'm just kidding. Nice first drive. Rarely do teams score on every single drive in a game. But they like what they did there. They just hope they can pay it off this time with some points. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Runaway and incomplete. Brings up second and ten. Second and ten from the 33-yard line. They run. It's Gurley. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Five yards. Now it's third and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And it's third down. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Out of the gun. It's Ryan. He'll throw underneath for Gurley. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Another catch for him down this track, Brandon. And looks like they're going to the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? A couple of first downs on the drive already. As he'll go from the 47 now on first down. Gurley. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Ryan's pass taken in by Ridley, and he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 37. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Here's Gurley. And he'll slice his way down to the 30 with a pickup of seven. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. 30 yard line. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. From the gun, Ryan. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Well, sometimes despite the best planning, the defense actually has a plan as well, and they blanketed everyone on that play. They were able to close it down and spill him for a loss. The Falcons on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and four. The left side completion to Jones. 
And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. They'll say no to the 46-yard field goal try. They're going to go for it. Here we go. It's Gurley. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little, a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now it's Ryan. His throw caught at about the five. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Defense. Hey, baby. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So the face mask moves him closer, and now first and goal. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. He really hasn't been able to get on track running the football, averaging less than four yards a carry. Yeah, I think that they're going to enjoy the film session because all the defenders are filling their proper gaps on just about every play. And you know what they always say for a defensive coach, when I click off this film, I better see 11 jerseys in the picture going after the ball carry. Another try on second down with Gurley. He is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. They're held again, and do we have a goal line stand brewing? It's third and goal. This is third and goal. This Chiefs defense, they're giving it all they got. chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up four. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. They're not going to kick it. A chip shot, but they're going for it down three on fourth down. 
They're going on fourth down. It's Ryan. And my goodness, this is incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the ball's going to be going back to the Chiefs. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in. And if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high. Because mentally, you're saying, hey, hey you're in the red zone. We're thinking we're giving up three. We just want to give up six. In this case, they end up not giving up the touchdown at all. They've got to feel great about what they got done. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, try to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Right, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle? Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. you got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. And yeah, he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as he'll stop him well short of the yellow line. Call it a game of three, and it'll bring up four. And just like you said, they got the lead there to silly, run the football, and that's what they did. They would have liked to have created a little more room for their punter. But he'll take what they gave him, and he'll go out there now and try and get the ball off and help his defense. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. Now a fair catch taken, maybe a yard or two shy of midfield. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Falcons are set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. Atlanta prepped and readied for its next possession. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field, and he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board, so let's see if it changes a little bit from the same spot again. Right, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Now Gurley. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 41. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The Falcons on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. Here it's third and two. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. Yeah, he would be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down.
second quarter, two minutes remain. 3 nothing. our score. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. On first down, Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. A good down to possibly take a shot, and in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards on the play, first down. As a passer, Rose trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. a second and two after that last catch good for eight yards Mahomes to throw once more firing quickly here and that's complete now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. And again, it's Mahomes. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler, Jr. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Thrown to the sideline and incomplete. A.J. Terrell on the coverage. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Mahomes. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he will have a first down here as they get in the field goal range, down just shy of the 20. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even
even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. Butker's kick here is good. And they're able to double their lead just before half. It's 6-0. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked out since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. Time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. Here's Powell on the return. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. 6 nothing is our count at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. receive the football that'll be taken about a yard deep and good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shot of the 20 at their own 19 yard line here comes the chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three their defense has pitched the shutout now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room maybe make it a two score game as they've got it first and ten Second half starts with a carry by Bell. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. the loss to start out. Here's second and 11. Now here's Mahomes. A quick slant to Hill. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Some think that teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. 
They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding Nothing where there. the first down marker was and getting there. Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. They picked up five yards last time, now they double it and get 10 here. Hey, we know Pat Mahomes can run it. We saw it right there, but you get the sense when he takes off, every Chiefs fan is just saying, hey, be careful. You get the sense, right, that everyone's holding their breath? Yes. And no one's exhaling until he gets up? Well, that makes perfect sense, but the reason that play works well for him when he decides to keep it and run, because of respect for his arm. He throws it so well and so often that when he does make the decision to run, it's usually wide open. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Looked like a pretty smart decision that time to keep the football by the quarterback. It was because you saw how the runner got swarmed. So you've got to pull the ball from his arms, keep it yourself, and get what you can. And the most underrated player on this play, is the running back because even if he doesn't have the ball he has to act like he does in order to attract the defense now he'll try to run with this credited with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine ladies and gentlemen that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position yes he's as big as they come but still plenty agile he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier second and nine from the 44. They'll go again with Bell. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Mahomes going to throw. Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Grady Jarrett making his presence felt. He gets the sack. That's be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack. Get off the field. Get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he's on to kick it away. This is taken at the 18. And it goes a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return, and the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Now they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. First and ten, it's Ryan. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defense is because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. This pass into the hands of the running back, Todd Gurley. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. It's a gain of two yards, and it's third down. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Operating from the gun, Ryan. 
And this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. The Falcons send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. They go play action. Now Mahomes gets this one to Hill. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the third. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just it's pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Dante Fowler picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback, because he had no chance to block him. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes over the middle complete. That's Watkins. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 43. Nice play for Kansas City picking up the first 18 yards that time. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he's gonna go down. The number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. And this came from the interior of the defensive line, and these guys, they're normally anchors of that spot, and they don't often get clear shots at the quarterback. But in this case, he got past the center and the guard in no time and got there to make the play. And as we check the next-gen stats, that play lasted just 2.7 seconds from beginning to end. Just not enough time to throw the football. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now Mahomes going to get this one to Hill. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary, now on third. Here's Mahomes to throw. Gets this one to lay the on ball. The Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. Now we're seeing this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off. But a nice game there for a first down. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. First and 10 right at the 20. Throwing now is Mahomes. The 
pass is caught. Watkins. Will be taken down at the two-yard line. Had the game here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. I think the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? The windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry? Ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. A kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And it's caught. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on a touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are able to go to the lead. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. That is caught. He's got it. And the lead will move to 14 to nothing. And of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. Felt so pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver. Ball's put on him. Two points for them. Touchdown, here's Bucker on to kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look, at, look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll set up to throw. A very quick pass to Ridley. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. This duo locked in 14 yards there. And a first down. Ryan. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And we do talk a lot about how the tight end position has changed in the NFL. Here's a great example. It used to be that they were linemen who occasionally caught passes. Now they're wide receivers who occasionally block people. And right here, this isn't tight end speed. It's definitely wide receiver speed. And his top speed, as computed by Next Gen Stats, not bad. He was pushing 20 miles an hour. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and 10. On the handoff, it's Gurley. Down to the 25. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. 
It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. Second and nine. From the gun, it's Ryan. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 14. Ryan to Jones, the Falcon connection there for a first. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. Back to the workhorse today, it's Gurley. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. To throw is Ryan. It's caught, Jones! And the Falcons are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert and third down, and that sets up the first and goal. A two-score game, obviously. Every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Ryan. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Aiden Hurst there to make the grab. And the Falcons have cut it to within a score. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run, and he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. No going for two, they'll kick the point after. makes it 14 to 7. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And the Falcons score to cap it off. Touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. And up to about the 26 yard line, just across the 25. At their own 26 yard line. KC's offense ready to take over. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 26. He'll give this to Bell. 
Even with that broken tackle, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. The two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Mahomes now to throw. Going deep here for Watkins. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And this is caught. It's Watkins. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Mahomes on target to Watkins for a KC first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. It doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Play fake here on first down. And going deep for Hill. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 57 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Patrick Mahomes, he can do everything seemingly, and that time he just reared back and let it fly. And I'm telling you, nothing will light up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receivers streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. Yeah, and that throw, my goodness, and even 70 yards through the air. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. Just a four-play drive that time, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. taken about a yard deep and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Atlanta now coming out on the field and for them a touchdown their last go around obviously they'll be hoping to do that again and when you start plotting for this drive when you start thinking to yourself okay what are we going to do you don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Ryan to the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 24. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. The left side completion to Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. At this stage, this drive's going to be touched down the box because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. 
And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 48-yard line. From the shotgun, Ryan. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Hayden Hurst, former first-round pick, the intended target. But it's going to be second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw again, Ryan. And he's got this down to the 35. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Again, Ryan. A slant to Jones. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. To throw again on second down, Ryan. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 14. 11 more yards there. This methodical drive continues. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It's second down and 10. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Throwing again, Ryan. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Snags it for the pick. But you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Here's Mahomes. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. Brady Jarrett able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. 
Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. I believe I can see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught, 11 on the field, those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Bell. They'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. This to make it a three-score game late. Butker's kick here is good. And that push the lead up to 17. So with that, you figure eh, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And we've got a penalty marker down here as he's able to get this only to the 20-yard line. This is going to put him back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now, first and 10, from back at their own 10-yard line. He'll look to throw right away. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? On first down, Ryan. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They go play action with Ryan. This one caught by Ridley. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 44-yard line. They go play action now. Ryan. And this one is incomplete. The intended target was Calvin Ridley, but it'll be second down. Similar to a shooter in basketball just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Second and 10 now, Ryan. 
And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. He'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A gain of 19. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. Now Ryan on first down. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Brings up second and five at the Chiefs' 20-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. you'd agree that looked like the right call from up here no doubt about it what everyone has to understand is that the officials are going to be right on the play each and every time you may not like the call but they're usually spot on so now a fresh set of downs first and ten after roughing the passer throwing again Ryan oh it's a screen pass that's good play Inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. A good rally to the football. Keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Looking to throw again on second down. Ryan uses the stiff arm. This will be caught at about the 6. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I think it's okay though they didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. A field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. And yet again, Ryan is intercepted. Defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. They'll 
start the drive with a carry by Bell. And a gain of about four here moves this from the six up to the ten. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Bell. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This is the type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. For my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry, I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.